All right, whatever. Anyway, hello. How's it going? And welcome back to Fallout 4. We're going to do some building today. Uh, before we do that, though, I... Let me turn off the in-game music. Otherwise, uh, it's going to kind of overlap in. It's... Yeah, so... We're going to do some building today. Before we do that, though, I do want to scrap some stuff. Uh, particularly, we're carrying a shitload of weapons that we do not need. Uh, so, let's do that real quick. It's your day off, so you don't want to listen to Ross music. Does that sound like Ross music? Yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. I think I put away pretty much everything that we want to keep, other than the sort of like legendary or favorited guns. So anything that's not legendary or favorited, we can scrap. I'm pretty sure. I should probably be fairly careful. But I think we good. Screws are actually seemingly hard to come by, so getting these from guns seems pretty decent. We have quite a few though, so this may take like a minute. And then we can start building shit. I'll show you what I did. I did. I didn't do much, but I did a little bit with the uh, the whole bar situation we had going on. Probably saw it last stream if you were there last stream. But if you want, I will show you real quick. Okay, let me know if the uh, if the music's too loud. When Windows 10 has a horrible impractical interface. Yes. Uh, like basically, I want to all tab right. Which you can, but when you all tab, at least on Windows 7, you could minimize the game. Or at the very least, get to your desktop and be able to click on, you know, like the icons in the tray. For example, the volume mixer. I can't seem to access the volume mixer once I've started playing a game, unless I already have the volume mixer open on, like, my other screen or something. So, you know, adjusting the volume of stuff in-game is a pain in the friggin' ass because of that. I don't want that either, even though it's legendary. I don't know what the effect chips are for. Like, I really have no idea. I don't really want the regular laser pistol. Laser rifle. To be honest, I don't think we really need that either. Uh, light terminal pistol. Do not care. Marksman's converted hunting rifle. We definitely want that. I think these miniguns are both spare. Let me double check that before I go scrapping both of them. Let's see if we have a minigun in here. We do not. Maybe they're not both spare then. What about in our bench? Weapons. Oh, we do have a minigun there. Okay, so yeah, that one's spare as well. So we had three miniguns. Holy crap. Two gears, eight steel, two screws, two springs. Honestly, for a gun that is uh, that expensive, it's pr the same with the Fat Man, actually, but I already scrapped it. It's probably better just to sell the minigun and scrap the sort of more crappy guns. So we'll go with that. That's not our good revolver, I don't think. Let me double check. Holy crap, I got so many guns. Are you kidding me? We'll leave that there for a second, but I think... That one also is something we should probably sell. Laser musket, we want to keep. Do you know where you get circuitry? Uh, you can get it from, like, robots. And you can find it sometimes. Other than that, I don't know. Like, military-grade circuit boards you can find around the place. They have circuitry. And again, you'll get those usually off of uh, killing robots. Other than that, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think that's the gun we're keeping. Yeah, no, it's not. So again, we're gonna we're gonna sell the RPG, sell the minigun. Sharpshooters, armor piercing, pipe, or oh, it's pipe, so I don't care. We're only keeping like one pipe weapon, and that's my badass revolver. The rest of it can suck it up, quite frankly. What music is playing right now? Oh, the battlefield theme, okay. It's probably quite quiet, but I'm fine with that. You get rid of you. This actually won't take too much longer. We're almost done. Hunting rifle, do not care. Pipe rifle, do not care. Some machine gun, do not care. Actually, man, yeah, no, I don't care. That we definitely want to keep, that we want to keep. That we do not want to keep. Alright. Oh, so I renamed the uh, the crowbar because it wasn't called just Standard Epic or something, which I feel like that name was a bug because it just didn't make any sense. So I called it the Free Man because, you know, it's like Gordon Freeman. I thought it was a great pun. Lots of carry weight. Yep, I have a mod that gives me infinite carry weight, basically. Well, almost infinite. Because, man, I do not like the inventory management. It is not fun. Baton. I don't think we need regular batons. Pipe wrench, do not care. Tyran, do not care. We've got, a, like, a, you know, a legendary pimp cane, so we don't need the regular one. 
Got spare boxing gloves, and we have like the knuckles, the brass knucks with uh, with, like blades on them. So all that can get scrapped. And like I said, we'll sell the minigun and the RPG. Right, that's all of our spare weapons. So all the other weapons in here, I want to keep. So, withdraw. How do I take all? I press that button. There we go. Beautiful. Yep, we're gonna be, we're gonna be quite in, you know encumbered in terms of carry weight. Hello. Goodbye. Right. So let me quickly show you what I did, and then we will begin. Basically, first of all, I removed the old roof because turns out you may remember you actually looted some missiles. Did I? Cool. Uh, it turns out that the other roof was working. It's just I was looking in the wrong menu for it. Even though, I'll explain why in a minute. So, uh, all I did with the chairs here, I just moved them forward a little bit more so they're more in line, blah, blah, blah. Nothing much up top. The counter I moved way further this way, as well as these chairs I put in. That's where the porter diner is. And the espresso machine, I shrunk it the fuck down because it was massive and put it on this little table. Don't that look cool? And also, I put a safe in there because you know it's a bar. Now, again, we need local leader rank 2 to actually make this a proper bar that will actually function. The drunken gnome needs to be a statue. It does, yeah. I should make it massive and, like, put it somewhere like the giant vault boy over there. All right. So, let's save. Let's make a permanent save as well so I don't have to rescrap all that crap. Boom. Right. So, I think you're already caught up. So, let's go put the roof on because that's, that's my main concern right now. Because, man, I do not like not having a roof. Uh, we'll see if we can plant one piece down without having a TCL, but we may have to. You could use the RPG. Yeah, I've got I've got a spare RPG, don't worry. I'm actually carrying two of me right now, I think. Or well, the other one might be in the bench, I'm not sure. Right, so remember it said uh, for these roofs it was under Structures Metal. It is, unless you download the SKE version, is that what it's called? Yeah. So I downloaded the SKE version, so it's under Structures Metal under SKE. So there you go, pre-war sanctuary, post-war sanctuary. So pre-war sanctuary, let's you build like, you know, Different bits of wall. Basically, you can build an entire sanctuary house from scrap, uh, from scratch rather, bit by bit, and make a whole house. So you got the roof, the walls, the doors, everything, uh, and you can kind of customize it your your own way. You know, like it's got like all these little bits. It takes a while if you're going to put them all together, but they they do snap, you know, appropriately and what have you. So yeah, at some point we're going to probably rebuild at the very least our house and maybe that one there. The rest of them I might just scrap those and turn them into different houses or something. Not sure yet. Uh, so what I'm mainly looking for here is we go to roofs. Nope, hang on. Pre-war sanctuary and then go to roofs. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Now we got like a roof that doesn't look like complete shite and will actually function. Is that the part we want? That's a corner part. We don't want that. We want... That's the one we want. There we go. We can get this... There we go. Beautiful. Now we want the one that sort of faces the other way. Where the crap is that? In fact, you know what? This is what we need here. So we'll put down this whole side here. You can see we've got a lot of wood and steel right now. But believe it or not, we almost ran out of steel uh, last stream. What the hell's going on with this? Oh, it's not in the right place. I was like, that doesn't line up. Yeah, we actually almost ran out of steel last time we were building, so... Yeah. Luckily, stuff like steel is easy to buy in bulk shipments and usually not that expensive. Hello, Oreo. You get so hype at your job when they play disco songs like September and Let's Groove, I bet. I'd be willing to bet my future non-existent lottery winnings that you forgot to download the mod that highlights dead bodies. Nope. I, I actually was using it last stream. <gasps> Suck it. But yeah, we have it. We need the scrapper bug, which we also have. Otherwise, it does not function. All right, there's the end part for there. And then we need to do the same on the other side. So we'll put this one here. And then we need you. Yep. And we need the bit in the middle, which is this part. Nope. I mean, we could also use that, because it's got, like, the blocks filled in at the side, you see? But it's not really necessary. I, I prefer to just use this. Actually, does it cost... No, nah, same materials. I guess it doesn't really matter, but, eh. I like to do things properly, sometimes. There we go. Now we fill in the sides... So we need these. Nope, we don't need those. We need something that looks like those. We need this. Put that there. Oh god, go in the right bloody place. Boop. Hey Jess, did, the, uh, did they call you yet? And then we fill in the roof. 
and then we done and we got like a hundred plus copper so we can actually make some lights for this place ain't it amazing i also did install a couple of mods that do upgrade the lights one of them was for the vanilla lights one of them was for the dlc lights so they should actually be brighter now but again we have the the homemaker lights if we need them all right there you go so if i come out of this going free cam boom we got a motherfucking roof and ain't flat beautiful bea beautiful again at some point i'm gonna make this less square for now it is fine but i will make it less square look everyone a giant fort boy it's blurry because it's not supposed to be that big but still i like it i dig it all right roof is done i like it I like it okay save now let me get my notes back out because i had some things i want to do uh and this is why i write them down because i tend to forget i do want to make a um a big storage room because you remember last episode or last stream if you were watching it we picked up a metric fuck ton of synth armor some of which we're wearing right now i want to put all those on mannequins so we're gonna need a lot of mannequins so we're probably gonna make a whole big display room for mannequins so yeah let me know if the song's too loud by the way i actually cannot turn it down anymore but i'll skip the song if it's too loud you wish you'll win the lorry and you'll give all the daves a free trip to mexico well aren't you a sweetheart did they call you, Jess? You didn't answer. Can't wait for Act 4 of Vigilant Me, either. <sighs> Alright, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. There is a couple of cool signs. One of which says liquors, and I want to put it over the bar, because it just seems appropriate. So I actually even wrote down where it is. It's under decorations, wall decoration signs. There's also the Edotronics in there, I think. So if we go to... Decorations... Wall decorations... Signs. This is the one I think. Yeah, look at that shit. That seems appropriate for the bar. Apropos, if you will. Okay, is that centralized? Decently, I think. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, and. What about Edotronics? Under miscellaneous thematic and. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, hang on. I think it's under thematic and practical. Then store signs. Which one's it under? Trading? Stores? Store signs. Man. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, never mind. That was something else. Oh, uh, Inner Tracks under miscellaneous thematic. Hang on. Let's go back over here. Because I've written this down like wonky. Decorations, wall decorations, signs, miscellane miscellaneous. I think it's under here. Yeah, here we go. So this is where the Edotronic is. And that seems appropriate for a bloody bar. Where do we stick it though? I don't know. Uh, for now, I guess we'll stick it on like this wall. Yeah, it seems decent. So you got like sort of a self-serve area here. And I'll put more chairs and stuff down, obviously. You know, like, ben you know what? Let's do that now. Fuck it. Let's do it now. Let's go to furniture. Shells. We want to find like... Uh, not airplane seats necessarily, but kind of like the sort of benches that you'd see in like a diner. Which I would imagine they probably do have here. This might be the kind of thing we're looking for. You have your cell phone on the highest loud ringtone volume, so you won't miss the call. Okay. It's supposed to be crooked, so it looks straight when you're drunk. Ah, that's what I'm doing wrong. And by the way, I figured out a couple of cool things. Uh, for example, I showed you one of them. Where you can, uh, like, you know, rotate the axis of things. It's kind of wonky. Here's another thing I found out. You can actually move everything that's attached. So, for example, if I... This is why I've saved it first. If I hold the button down... Look at that shit. I can move the whole thing at once. So now it's in the sky. And that's why we saved. Because, like, fuck trying to get that back in the right position. So that's cool. And that could be very handy under certain circumstances. Can I even use this? Does it work? Can I click on it? Does it do it? Oh, it does. That's cool. So we can actually put food in there as well. Which we might, but not right now. I'm, gonna, I'm more concerned about these benches. You need a dance area. Exactly, yeah, yeah. We've got the disco ball already. I'll probably put like a weight room or something over here, and then maybe like... This would be sort of like a dance area, and we'll put like chairs and shit here, which is what I'm doing now. So anyway, back to furniture. Chairs. Hang on. Chairs, containers. Yeah, chairs, bed. Yeah, okay. Right, let's have a look at what we got for uh, sort of diner-looking benches that make sense. Couch, not so much making sense for a diner. Though it is the post-apocalypse, we can basically rebuild society the way we want, and we could teach people that, you know, couches belong in diners, really, if you think about it. But if we can find something more appropriate... I See, I kind of like these. 
These seem kind of appropriate. Diners, and they're renovated. We'll see if we find something better, but... So far, they're the front runner in my mind. That kind of works as well, I suppose. I don't like the way it's got the gaps at the side, though. Like, you'd have to attach them to... Like, very specifically, it would have to be against the wall. Like that. This is like a treehouse building simulator. Exactly. Without the tree. These ones have the gap? Yes, they do. Chair. Institute toilet. Interesting. That's right, we do have a barber chair, don't we? Is this the is this for um the settlement beacons? I can't remember what we actually need to build for that. Yeah, some of this is institute furniture, I think. Like this might be? I'm not sure. That's a couch, if you say so. I guess we could just have like benches like this, but I don't know, like it's a diner. It's not like a school playground. Well, these are like full-on diner. This is kind of what we're looking for. Do they have a renovated version of that? If not, I guess we'll go with that, but... Really would like the renovated version. But they might not have it, like I say. Ah, I don't think they do. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, we'll go with that then. That seems apropos. Okay, so you probably would want it... Which way would make the most sense? I think like... Yeah, probably like that, right? You'd want the... the the stand to be against the wall, I guess. The Keeler is incredibly powerful stuff. Yep. Sure is, buddy. Boop. I don't think how many we can... We can maybe fit like three of these in? Maybe just about... Yeah, it's kind of close to the store, but we can maybe move the other stuff back to fit it in properly. It's obviously not going to line up exactly until we move it around a little bit, though it's close. Uh... Hmm. It's a little too close to this store here. But I kind of dig that. Can I move you further this way? Like that. Maybe move this a little further this way. And then move you a little bit more. Alright. Then we'll move these back here. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, let's, let's make sure the first one's lined up because then the rest will be easier to do. Not quite in the right position. I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. And then get these against here and then we should be fine. Yee! A little bit further this way. Luckily we have the... Uh, the ability to pull it towards us. There we go. One more. Alright, I think that's... Maybe like one more. Yeah, it's about as good as that's gonna go. Alright, that's not too bad, not too bad. Is it lined up properly? Should be, yes. Okay, and then you. Is that floating slightly? Is that just me? It seems like it's slightly higher than the other one. I don't know, maybe it's not. It's just that it's not in line. Quite. Alright, that should be pretty good. Alright, that's not too bad. That didn't take too long. So there we go. Now we have bloody chairs. Might be a good idea to put like a low wall here or something. I'm not sure how we're going to handle that. I'm not sure how we're going to handle that. We probably want more of them though. We probably want them sort of like another row here. And then that's pretty good. What do we want them this way? Nah, because then they're not going to match the wall properly. Alright, so I think for symmetry, we'll put the bar on this side. How far away do we want them? We don't want to cover too much of this room, because again, we want to use it for other stuff. Probably want them fairly close together. Like, kind of like that. Not like too cramped, but decent. Is there space to walk between them? Yes, there is. That seems alright to me. Is there a chair without blood? I wish. Does this have blood on it? Yeah, I don't think it's a, a non, like, non-destructed version of the, uh, like, the diner chairs, unfortunately. If we find one, we'll replace it later, but yeah, this seems to be the best option we have right now. Okay, so again, if we can get this first one in line, then the rest will follow. It's actually, like, pretty fucking much there. 
I think it might need to be like a tiny bit this way. Like that. Yeah, I think... Actually, maybe one more. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright. Let me just line the other ones up. Oh my god, work with me. Yeah, that one's... That's not my best work. That's, that's not my best work. Why is it not like glowing white as if it's in the right position? That's weird. Alright, that looks good. That's your almost pixel perfect. Just need it like... Whoop. Yep, okay. See, it doesn't actually take that long. Even as OCD as I am, it doesn't take that long. I remember like when Full F4 came out, like, you know, with no mods and what have you. Getting shit to just put down sometimes took forever. Because it would constantly give you the red mark and be like, no, you can't put it there, man. It's like, what? why not? And they're like, yeah, you know, we said so. Oh, okay, thanks. Don't, I don't get it. Look at that shit. We got like a full-on diner now. Looks fucking awesome. I love it. Save. Must always save when you're building. Good lord. You should scale that food thing a little smaller. Yeah, it is kind of huge. We'll make it a tiny bit smaller. I don't want it to be too too tiny. What the hell? Get out of here. Alright, uh, I think it's one. Yeah, there you go. We'll go with that. We'll go with that for now. It's like one size down. Look at that shit. It actually works. It functions. We got a bar. The bar, again, may be a little close to this, but, you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's possible I might just remove these, or at least put these against this wall or something. And then... We could always move all this back. I'm not gonna do that right now, but... It's a possibility. Welcome back, Skimmy. How's it going? I do need to put, like, alcohol. Well, not alcohol, but, like, Nuka-Cola in there at some point. We have them. We can do that with, like, the OCD decorator. Uh, don't know that's my priority right now. So let's go grab our disco ball. I should put a door in here. Let's put a door in here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. In fact, it's under furniture, isn't it? Or is it? No, structures. I think it's stru yeah, structures doors. Okay. Let's try and find an appropriate door. Because these are, like, front doors. Doesn't really make sense for what we've built here. These ones are not bad. I kind of dig that. Yeah, something like this is not is, is more appropriate. But we'll, we'll have a look at our option here. The song isn't copyright. Um, technically it is, but it's probably not going to get a match on YouTube because generally they don't do that with their pro wrestler themes because obviously if you're playing like a, a WWE game or whatever, it's going to have the themes in it for the interest themes. So as long as like you're not playing the whole thing, it's probably not going to get a match. And I'm talking over it, so it's unlikely to get a hit. If it does, it's honestly not the end of the world. Like, you know. I lose out of revenue from that video. I don't suspect the, the building videos will get that many views anyway. I don't know. It, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I, I doubt we'll get a match anyway. If it does, I'll just keep that in mind for the future. What the heck? Oh, that's right. It's a vault door. Well, like like a vault vault. Not like a, a fallout vault. Yeah, I think I like the... um. What was it in the beginning? The... Where the crap were they? These ones. I kind of like these. I don't know which color to go for. I think that one. Yeah. Yeah, I dig that. Yeah. Actually, it's a little dark, isn't it? It's a little dark. A little dark. Uh, it doesn't look that fucking dark, though, does it? Like, why is it so dark? That one looks dark. So, what, like... Hang on. Store that for a second. What about this one? What does that look like? That one looks a little bright. I kind of want something in between the two, but eh... I don't, know whether, I don't know whether I prefer the dark one or the bright one. I guess I'll leave it up to people in the chat. Which one do you prefer, the dark one or the bright one? Because I don't know. I do not know. Why don't we have, like, another entrance or something around the back here? Like, right here? We can do that, actually, very easily. You know, let's do that right now. Let's do that right now. You don't have to realign them. Wait, use the diner door, maybe. You don't have to realign them in building mode. There's a diner door? Alright, so... Structures, wood, walls, and then we find the one with the door frame. Which is like right here? Yeah. Does it line up? 
Yes, it does. Uh, it did. Line up, damn you. Line up, damn you. Oh, God. It keeps, like, doing it, and then I fuck it up. There we go. What? Yeah, it doesn't line up. What the fuck? Get out of here. How the... What the... Shit. How are you... No. no. Game. Put it... Put it... Put it... I want the wood to line up. Oh my god, game. Why? Why? <laughs> Doesn't matter which way I rotate it. It just never... It never goes correct. Oh my god, it sucks. Uh, I don't know where to put it. It won't... Game. Looks like... This. Okay, so... You see the wood here? That dark bit should be in line with this dark bit. It ain't. So it looks actually really wonky. Oh, that's annoying. Kind of different outside, maybe. Maybe it's just being temporary inside. I don't know. Oh, the one on the outside is lined up. What the shit? I guess it ain't gonna go any better than that, then. Fuck it. But yeah. See that beam there? Like, that's... They're, they're all, like, off. But, yeah. There's nothing I can do. Move it using the number pad. Eh. I could. I guess. Could. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that, I think. It keeps giving me the, the wrong side of it. Like, it's popping in in the wrong place. Well, that's annoying. That's, that's annoying. Yeah, but it matches on the outside. I don't know. All right, just fucking leave it for now. Maybe I'll mess around with it later. All right, so we got a door there. Uh, we need to light this place, and now we've actually got the circuitry to do it. Um, oh, that's right. We went to the disco ball. Let's go grab that. If you use slash and star, you can change how it... How far it shifts. Oh, oh John, I hate thee. You hear me, get me? Alright, beautiful. Well, we can also build these power stations. Let's go do that now as well. Because we have the materials. We may have to move our power out of the way. So let's just do that now. I think my place is ended. Yes, it has. Let's go back to the one on YouTube. The one that doesn't sound like complete shite. So, bookmarks. Where the hell is it? This one. Let's start from... Let's start from this. What the hell this is? This song is 55 minutes long. I hear nothing so far, though. I think I kind of hear it now. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. Alright, you get out the damn way. Wish I could move these in building mode. That would be handy. Alright, that might be enough. Just to give me space to save. Open up the thing. We also need a kitchen, bathroom, a storeroom. Probably the last one is the basement. Yeah, I'm more likely to make those in... Um, in that building there. I'm also going to tear down that whole building and uh, rebuild it with the pre-war. You know, I was showing you with the walls. The pre-war sanctuary thingy. So it just, it basically will look pretty much the same, but, you know, not ruined. Because, how about you? I don't like the ruined houses. They don't do it for me. Right, so I think this thing is under decorations, display, power armor. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, so we got, like, blue, red, kind of yellow, and Gray? What, I guess it's gray? I can't like the red. Let's go with the red. We just need to line this up against the wall properly. And then the rest will snap in place. Okay. As wonky, I know. I'm about to fix it. It's not that wonky. But it is wonky. How is it still... Why, why is it still highlighted? like clearly clipping through the wall fix your shit video game all right that's probably fine let's see how it uh actually you know let's put the rest down is it facing the right way yes might put all these ones red and then do like a wall of blue or something why are you not snapping into place that's a good question are you in the way somehow or is it maybe just too close to the wall Hello, Billy. Got any list of necessary mods? You need to follow for you. Uh, if you do exclamation point mods, it will give you my mods list. Uh, if we're talking about building, place anywhere, scrap everything. Those two will be your priority. 
And then if you're looking for... Yeah, they actually... They're still wonky, aren't they? What the fuck? How are they not lined up properly? Because all these ones are... Kind, they're kind of like going very slightly off center, I think. Oh my god, that's annoying. All right. We'll fix it. Hang on. Okay. You come hither. Move over there. Boop. And... Boop. Yeah, it's going slightly off center. All right. Need to power all these, I know. That's the least of our problems, honestly. Power, we, we are copper, we can power stuff. Is that more centralized than it was? I Maybe? Let's try that now, see if they line up now. Alright, let's see if they're starting to go off center yet. I don't think so. What is it? Slightly turned to the right now. You see, like, the crack on the floor there? Mmm, that's annoying. That is annoying. God, I didn't think this part- this part should have been easy. Why is this being so temperamental? Motherfuckers. So in that case, it is very slightly off skew to the right. If I can get it and go like that, maybe that's enough. Please just go in the right friggin' place. I think that's about perfect. It's not gonna go much better than that. Alright, do I have enough space to fill one more in here? Come on. Yes! No, it's the wrong one. Well... We'll store it for now. Fantastic. Look at that shit. I've got a place to actually store power armor now. Bye, Alex. Take it easy, man. Oh, we would click the display and it would, like, put the armor in? Oh, it doesn't do it because it's not powered yet. Okay. Actually, no, yeah, no, I think it needs to be powered. Right. So the easiest way to power them... Uh, do we have a generator nearby? I thought we did. Get that the damn way. We could... Oh, here we go. This generator might be fine. So, what we'll do is we'll move the generator inside. Actually, yeah, actually, I don't know if this is going to be fine. We might need a bigger generator. Yeah, we might need a bigger one. Hmm. What I'm going to do for now, I am going to actually do some weird shit, and I'm going to hide this generator, like, in the ground. Where am I going to? Ah, fuck it. I'll have to, like, re-put the things on the wall. Like these things for the lights. Which is the only reason I'm not doing it right now. Which is kind of annoying. But it's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, let's just assume we're going to need a bigger generator. Because I think we will. Oh, good. They stay there. Okay. Well, that's not a problem then. So power generators. Can I make level 3 yet? I need rank 1 science. Alright, we need to kind of get that. Why is this song so fucking loud? Alright, put that down. And then sink it to the ground. What the shit? Looks good! Kinda needs to be rotated a little bit. There we go. A little bit more. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing this, because I'm about to do something completely... and like completely fuck up the placement of the generator. First things first. I need to get connected to these things. Let's do that real quick. And then drag it over here. These wires have a long range on them now. That's another mod. It's called, like, um, increase, increased power lines length. Or, it's something like that. You're going to get the fusion generator eventually, hopefully. You know you can connect all the things with one electric line, right? I can? I did not know this. How do I do this? I think, correct me if I'm wrong. I think basically I need to do this. And then that's powered. Is it not? Why is it not powered? Why are you not powered? Did it, did it not attach to that? Hang on. Oh, it's attached to that one. Okay, why did it not attach to the other one? I'm waiting to see uh, about this information on connecting things. Just connect those... Just connect those connects like a lion. It may be, may be me being dumb. I, I am confused. What do you mean connect the connects like a line? Why is this one not connecting? Hang on. There we go. Oh, and that was not powered now. What? Does it just not have enough power to do all of them? If that's... If so, that sucks. I, I could just build like another generator, I guess, but... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's annoying. 
Yeah, I think he just doesn't have enough power. That sucks! <laughs> God damn it. Wait a minute, where are my light? My lights are not on. Why are they not on? Hmm. Hang on. Okay, connectors. The things outside of the house, you don't need a million electric lines. Oh, I think I know what you're saying. I think I know what you're saying. I think I know what you're saying. Right, hang on. Let's store the wire in the shop. And we'll, we'll try it. I think I finally get what you're, what you're saying. All right, one sec. We'll store the wire and we'll start again. Produces five power. You have six stations that you spawn power. Each. Yeah. That's annoying. All right. Well, again, we can just make a little generator and we'll fix it like that. Right. So what you are saying is, I can do this. Connect this to this. Oh God damn! I need it here. So initially, it obviously, needs to be connected to that. And then you're saying I can connect this to this. You're right. I did not know that. That's very handy information. Thank you. Boop. Boop, 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 doop, boop, doop. So then we grab the other one over here. And do the same thing. I wonder if you could do it with the um. I wonder if you could do the same thing inside with the power armor stations. Probably. Yeah, I think we're gonna need two generators, unfortunately. Uh, I need the generator in here though. Son of a bitch. Actually, maybe I don't. I might be able to do it with, like, one of these. For example, if I put this inside, surely it will have the same effect of being able to connect the wires. Like, if I put this here, then can I connect the wire from that to... Why is that one powered? Wait, what? Maybe I left that one connected? I don't know. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it's just not in the right position. Ah, you can! Okay. Why not the big generator produces 10 power? I need the science puck 1, unfortunately. So we'll do it, just can't do it yet. What if I put this like here? Yeah, for now we're gonna have to use two generators because we just don't have enough science to build the bigger one. But we'll replace it with the bigger one when we, when we do. Why are you not connecting? What the shit? Hmm, okay, I guess it's just like slightly off center. I don't know. What's out now? Alright, that's all that's gonna power anyway. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think, again, it's got quite enough to power the, the last one. Yeah, so just gonna switch that one off. Alright, that's fine. And then. We. When do we need you? I can't remember where you're supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be here. In fact, are you? Because hang on, that's got power. Where would I need to put you then? In fact, this all has power. I don't just hide it at the bottom here, I suppose? Yeah, we'll put it there. No! Good enough. Okay, so then we need one more generator to connect that. So we'll make a little itty bitty one. I was actually watching a like generator and electrical tutorial yesterday, and then I was like, oh shit, I should be going to sleep. So I never actually finished it, funnily enough. So, that might have told me the whole thing about connecting wires that way. Funnily enough. Boom. Alright, and then we move you back outside. Alright, it's powered. Let's start. Actually, to be honest... To be honest, scrap. Or it's store, I guess. What's better is that we just make a, another big generator, at least for now. And again, we'll replace it with a 10 power one, and then we'll just stick it here. We can always hide these, like, under the ground or whatever if we want to. And then... Let's get a connector, stick it on the wall, connect that, and then we'll move the connector inside. Connect the generators together. You can do that? Oh. But I don't even need this. Hang on. I'm learning so many things. Boop. Well, I'll be fucking jiggered, you can. So, hang on. Will that allow me to simply just put down the final wire? It works! That's awesome! Alright, now I think if you click on these, it'll put the power armors in the- Oh shit, never mind, I'm in building mode. I think now if I click on them, it'll put the power armors in the correct place. Maybe. Or maybe not, what's going on? 
I am confused. I guess I need to be near it. Fuck it. Let's get this thing to a trap. Don't even care about Fallout, you just like listening to me ramble. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Boop. Oh, stuck. <laughs> Maybe I should get out facing the other way. Let's just do that. That seems that seems smart. Yeah, I like that. Now click on that. There you go, there you go. Uh, you're looking through the mods list. Do you know which mod allows you to have basements? You have no luck finding it. Uh, it's called Basement Dweller. I'm pretty sure. How am I ever going to get in this thing? With some major clipping. I think it will work. I just think the animation is not going to play. Yeah, there you go. Alright, cool. And get out of you. So I just realized this is carrying like an arm. It really shouldn't be. It doesn't match the rest of the set. Let's take that back. T45 right arm. T45 left arm. So it needs to go here. There you go. And click that. Fantastic. You, I don't think, are actually in the thing. No problem. Yeah, I haven't experimented with the basement building yet either. But yeah, it's definitely called Basement Dweller. I don't know why I remember the name, because I'm normally bad with that sort of thing. Alright, one more set to put away for now. We should take these fusion cores out afterwards. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. It's like a full-on garage. It's actually functioning. Right, I'm taking my fusion cores, because people will rob these things. Bastards. Okay. Uh, try to decide where I want to put more of these things. We'll probably make some blue ones now. I don't know, I kind of want blue. We need more lighting here, though. It's very dark. So, honestly, we should probably... Well, we're going to run out of, like, power sources again. I guess I could connect another generator. We need, Again, we need, like, that design so we can make just better generators. So, what was this under? It was, like, decorations display. Yeah, here we go. I know we've already got one of these, but I don't really like the color now. I'm trying to take the blue. All right, that's the correct way. Do we want... Where do we want these? Let me think. We have like two either side of the door or something. Let's go with that for now. It's dark in here. You know what? Let's do the light now because I can't see shit. And then we'll evaluate how many uh, more generators if we need them after that. You're not getting powered. Why are you not getting powered? Hang on. Maybe this thing's just not far enough over this way. Try moving it. See if it fucks everything up. Put it in the middle. Have class in the morning, so you gotta go. Alright, buddy. You take it easy. Yeah, that fixed it. They are all still on. Yes. Beautiful. I need a light on all these friggin' walls. Even though I installed that thing that gives you, you know more potent lights. It ain't enough. I know, by the way, that the power armor things give off light, but still, I, I want this room actually just lit up. I want to be able to see. That's not lit. I think it will when I move this over here. In fact... Alright, let me make sure this will work. If not, we'll put it back. That works. Okay. I can see. Holy crap. Fantastic. Right, so. Back to decorations. What was it? What was decorations? Oh, decoration display. That's right. How armor. The blue one. Okay. Let's see if we can fit two in here either side of the door. And then that'll do for now. Again, we've got to get these lined up, unfortunately. Otherwise, it will completely mess up the other one. That is not lined up at all. That's pretty friggin' close. Still not quite. I like... I like that. Yeah, there we go. That should be fine. Lock you down there. Hmm... Eh, we'll go with that for now. Now, how close to the wall? How close to the wall did I have this? 
Hmm, not actually that close. Hmm. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. I'm redoing this shit. Hang on, let's line up with the other side. Yeah, okay, so it just straight overlaps the uh, bar on the floor. Alright. Uh, like that. Seems good. How's the lining? Slightly, slightly off. We need to kind of like... There. Still slightly off, I think. The reason I'm worried about this is because, again, it will it will mess, misalign the other one even more, and then eventually it will just be completely out of whack. I think that's pretty good. At least good enough. Is it snapping in the right place? Yes. Okay. I like that. That's better. Make sure this one's lined up. Not quite. Not gonna lie, this is not my type of music, but uh, just so we got something in the background that's not the exact same thing every time. Yeah! yeah. Cheers! That seems actually, I think it was in line. I think that's decent. So, Mr. Wayne. So, if we put a connector in here, for example, well, let's put it outside first of all and then move in here. So, let's go to power. Connectors, get one of these, right. So what I'm thinking is, we connect this, like so. Then we move this bad boy inside. Then put it like, I don't know, fucking, I'm trying to think of a place to put it without having wires stretched across the room, like they kind of are right now, actually. Hmm. We'll worry about that later. I'll tidy up the wires later. Now, see if this works. So far, so good. Why are you not connecting? Why are you being a dick? Thank you. Thank you for not being a dick. This one probably not going to reach until I move it. Oh, son of a bitch. Is that on? I can't even tell. No, I don't think it's on. Oh, God, no. That. What the? What the? No? There we go. All right. They're all on. Grab the power conduit. Just hide it wherever the shit you can. Try there. All right. Let's check. They're all on. All the lights are on. They're all on. I think it's good then. There's, again, these wires are a mess. I do need to mess around with these, but I will. Take it easy, Mega Lad. Good night, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Actually, if I put this, like, above the doorway or something, it's probably going to be less stretchy. Yes, less stretchy. That's that's the term I've decided to use. Yeah, at least there's not wires coming to the door now. There's wires, like, running all over the room. This looks like my looks like my bedroom, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. I, and I will, I will try and uh, put it in the roof. Mm, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I need to mess around with these wires, but I'm not going to do it right now. We've got this powered, this is... and lit. This is appropriate for now. Again, I'll do the fine-tuning of hiding the wires later. The conduit higher. Yeah, I will, don't worry. Like I said, I'm not going to do it right now. I don't want to bore you. Okay. Do we try and make our mannequin display room yet? I don't think so. I think we concentrate on trying to get this... this finished. Ah, and we should light it whilst it's dark. Dark. Darkness. Alright, so let's go back to Homemaker. I'm getting stuck on the door really bad here. Homemaker. Power. Ceiling lights. Yeah, this one seems fine. Holy shit, I can't see a bloody thing. Can I connect lights between... How is that powered? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I... <laughs> Why is it also not on? That's weird. I know the light does glow, but it was doing that before. Like, I think we have to, like, reload the game or something before the light actually lights up. Odd. Very odd. So here's what I'm wondering. For example, just as a test, can I put down like... Wait, no, you can't connect wires to these things, can you? I don't think so. Let's try that. Yeah, no, lights don't work like that. Okay. Right, so... Yeah, I don't have conduits on the wall. I was just surprised I was getting them from here. Um... Alright, well, let's chuck down like 
two more of these things. So that should be enough to cover the room, and then we'll put them in like the right positions. Yeah, unsurprising that one doesn't reach. So we want. Let me think. Again, I'm going to hide the generator in the roof. We probably don't want these types of conduits, to be honest. We probably want the ones that hang down from the roof. Oh, the crap. It's going to be very dark for a second until I put in the new conduits. I right, say so we're going to be back here. Power switches. Where's the hanging one? Yo, hurry up and load game. All right, put that bad boy there. All right, beautiful. Now, honestly, if that's just like in the middle of the room, yeah, it'll make them all work. And I could possibly hide that as well. Well, this side's not lit. Can I move you further over and will that work? Let's see if we can get four of these to light the whole room. We might be able to. Again, I need to mess around with like the positioning and stuff. Just seeing if we can, yeah, we can cover the whole room. It's like a tiny bit dark in the middle, though. These are, like, way too close to this wall. There you go. That's about where we need those. Line this fucker up as well. Oh, God! I fell down the stairs now! Somebody should have put a railing on that thing. Oh, yeah, I did. Hang on. It'd be about there. Okay. So they're obviously very wonky. Like, they don't line up or anything. But, lights up the room. This one, yeah, not far enough, Chris. Out, yeah, I think. There we go. So, four lights is enough to light the whole room. I like it. I fucking like it. Just connect one conduit to another. Don't need four wires to the generator. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fast realizing that I'm using way more copper than I need to. Right. So... Well, maybe I'm not using more copper than I used to, but certainly more, uh... More conduits at the very least. Now, I gotta get these lights lined up. I'm trying to think like how to do this. Good question. Uh Right. Just trying to decide where the first one's gonna be. This one is like way too far this way. Okay. I think that's relatively decent. We'll kind of mimic that pattern. So that one. This one would therefore go here. They don't need to be perfectly in line as long as they're close. Is that clipping through the ceiling? It is. Move that down a little bit. There you go. Thank you. That was too far. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright. Looks good to me. Oh god, I keep falling that. How do I keep I have a railing on this motherfucking thing. How do I keep doing that? I want that like slightly further that way. Okay. Honestly, that seems mostly fine. They don't need to be pixel perfect. They're lights. Uh, this one, again, mostly fine. Let's try and get a little bit like more on center. Like, oh, we're, we're getting there. Oh shit. Yeah, like that. That seems good. That's still the one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And then you come here. Oh shit. Don't do that. That's confusing. Come on, come back, come back. No, don't fight me. Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me? Right. That's not really. Ah, uh, you know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. There you go. I'm reasonably happy with that. The room is lit. We only use four of them. Let's see if we save the game, reload the game. I want to see if it makes them actually line up, because I know they, they do. It just seemed a little temperamental for some reason. Like, I'm talking about the actual bulb. But like, obviously, it's light in the room. Why is it doing that? That's weird. I don't know. I'm sure maybe it'll fix itself later. I don't know. I don't bloody know. Okay. Now we've got to light the bottom. Uh, we'll put the disco ball in first, I guess, and then we'll see how much lighting we need around that. So... Does anyone remember where the crap the disco ball actually goes? Is it under just lights? It probably is. Let's have a look. Where are you at, disco? There it is. Okay, cool. Mirror ball, sorry. That's my mistake. Put it there for now. I don't know which corner we're going to have it in. Is it that corner or that corner? 
Probably this one, away from the door, I suppose. Which means I don't really want this section lit, if so. So we kind of want, like, you know, obviously the bar. And maybe the doorway here? Maybe? Alright, let's check what's going on with the bloody music. It's still playing? Let's skip ahead. What the shit? There we go. Away from the stairs. Yeah. Kind of like it where it is. I wish I had more light in here so I could see, you know, ironically enough, what the hell I'm doing. Uh, what do these look like? So they're going to need to be powered, I know. So why are you floating there like that? Get out of here. Okay, can I put like a power conduit on the floor? Probably. Now, uh, again, I, I'm probably going to mess around with these conduits more later. And now I'm just sort of doing the basics. Is that going to light it? It does. It doesn't give off much light at all, though, does it? Like, at all. Even though I have the mods on that make the lights brighter, apparently. I'm not so sure that they're functioning on that correctly. What about Homemaker? What else you got? Floor and table lights, wall lights, street lights. What about wall lights? Street lights. Is that going to get power from the conduit? No. Didn't think so, somehow. Hmm. Power miscellaneous. What about miscellaneous? We put down a campfire. Gives off a lot of light. It gives off a lot. Look at that shit. It's like so much better than the uh, the vanilla lights. We could put like one of these here, but it doesn't feel all that appropriate for like down here. That's not powered, really. There you go. I'm like, it works. And this corner's still dark with the, you know, the disco ball going on. I feel like this disco ball is not centralized at all. What about like there-ish? That seems better. I kind of dig that. Seems appropriate with the music as well. We'll leave that one like that for now, but I'll probably change this light. Just three no watt. Or two watt. No, don't fight me. Try to centralize you, you piece of crap. Yeah, my god. It's like wonky. Hang on. No. I think it's just out of the conduit range back there. Which again, I could fix easy enough. Yeah, I could have went this way anyway. There you go. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, I'll probably change the light. I'm not too happy. Like, I like those lights upstairs. They feel appropriate up here. Not so much that one. Welcome back, Vulpix. This conduit, does it still power it if I put it like here? Didn't yeah, think so. All right. Just chuck it in the middle of the floor for now, and we'll mess around with that later. Actually, yeah, let's put it like straight up in the middle. See if that powers the whole thing. Does not. Shit. Really? That sucks. I put that one there. I mean, that's a big building, but goddamn. All right, that works. I guess we'll just put down another conduit for now. I suppose. Like across the other side. Again, I will I will make these like hide the wires and what have you later off off camera because it will require some experimentation, I'm imagining. Right, that one might do what we want. And then connect it to the Whoa, what the shit happened there? Connect it to that. Okay. You know, what, let's move it a little bit more. Like there. Okay. So, uh, what kind of lights do we want here? Again, I want, I want to be able to use more different types of light, but they don't give off enough fucking light. It's really annoying. So, let me think, let me think, let me think. Power lights. I wish this was uh, divided into, like, ceiling and stuff like that, but it ain't. How are you not lit? This confuses me. 
So this is a slave house, right? Absolutely, yes. Oh, is this one just not attached to this? No, it is attached to the ceiling. How is the conduit not getting it from there? This confuses me. So again, still not giving off enough friggin' light. How is the conduit not getting the other one? What? Like right there, man! Like right friggin' there! Wait a minute. The wire's not attached. How is it not attached? Oh, he's, he's doing like some weird clipping through the ground, so he doesn't want to do it, so I have to put it like this first. There you go. Now it's attached. Alright, that should fix the problem. Boop. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's a bit of light, but it's not good enough. Not good enough at all. Not good enough at all. Oh, it's annoying. Like, why, why are the lights so sucky? Fluorescent light, what do you like? I mean, like, decent? I suppose? Like, better than the other thing, but fuck me. Let's have a look, see what we have. What the hell is this? Ah, I wonder if these are from the Vortec Workshop. I know I have a mod that makes those brighter. It's not too bad. It's kind of moody. I kind of, I kind of dig that, you know? I kind of dig that. Uh, let's put down another one for now. And then I'll have a look at some of the other lights, see if we prefer... I know they're wonky. I'll fix them in a second if I decide to keep them. I'm just... I'm looking. Hang on. Play some wall lights. Wall lights. Ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. Well, that's just like a bigger version, I guess. Probably in uh, retrospective, should have used that. Store you. Yeah, let's use the big ones. I'm wasting so much fucking copper. Come on! Again, I don't really like that. I want to change that. Yeah, that's decent. That, like, we can actually friggin' see. We might need like three of them though. Maybe like one above the bar and then two here. Yeah, let's do that. This one like right above the bar. Yeah, completely in the wrong positions, but doing its job. So, let's figure this out. Gotta line these fuckers up. That doesn't seem too bad. I may as well have it, you know, OCD-ified. There you go, like that. That looks weird hanging off like that, though, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Actually, you know what? It does. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna move it. We'll put this one yeah, like there. Then we'll put this one here. If it ever stops disappearing from like existence. I feel like that one's floating. Yeah it is. Why are you floating? Why are you why what is special about you that you are floating? You motherfucker. They're all kind of floating actually. I can fix that. But I just don't know why it's doing it. Are these in line? Yeah, close, actually. Close. How do I move this away? That way? Yeah. That is about as close as you're gonna get. Like, maybe a tiny bit more. Sort of, uh... Like that. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so those two look good enough. Again, I gotta move them up and down. Hello, Rin! It's unrelated, but you finally got a Nintendo Switch. Breath of the Wild is consuming your life. I need to play Breath of the Wild. I will play it. I'll probably do it after Majora's Mask. Uh, assuming the emulated version is working properly, which I think it is. From what I understand. You know, for the Wii U. And let's be honest. It makes the same version, isn't it? I think. I think there's much difference. Alright, so... You need to be moved. No, wrong way. Okay. Okay. That's reasonable. Little, like, little, little off center. Oh shit, fuck me. Oh fuck me. Oh fuck me. Oh fuck me so hard. Why? 
Yes, like that. Okay. That's about as good as they're gonna go, except they do need to be raised up. Let's do that. Which button is the up? I think is this one? Yeah. Do it until they disappear. Oh shit. I raised the fucking roof. Oh god damn it. Hang on. Move the roof. There we go. That may have messed up the bed. Let's, let's check. You gotta be real careful when you're messing with this shit. The bed looks fine. I think the bed is fine. Okay. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Okay, I can't raise it anymore. Alright, in that case, we're just gonna assume it's in the right place. Careful. Don't move the floor, Jason. Okay. Didn't move the floor. We're good. Careful. Okay. The place is fucking lit. Fam. We can see. I know it's like almost daytime now, so there's also that. But still, it was work and you saw. Don't don't fight me on this one. Look at that shit. Again, these are... They do glow. I know they do. I don't know why they're not doing it right now. Weird. I, I do need to do some work to uh, hide these wires. We can hide this in the roof. What the shit? What? 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 What the hell happened there? Yeah, we can hide this in the roof. I like do that. There you go. Should be out of sight. And still doing its job. These, on the other hand, I'm not sure how we're going to handle those. Save. Yep. I know. I was about to do that. Boop. Alright, I'm reasonably happy with that. I'm reasonably happy with that. Oh, that's not like in line at all. Right, I need to fix that. That will, that will but like, I can't, you don't understand. Like, I, it will bug me the rest of my day if I leave it like that. Like, it will. Like, like it will. There you go. It's kind of in the middle of the, of the block now. It doesn't look like it from this angle. It looks like it's way too far that way, but it's not. Like, if you look from here, it's, it's pretty good. In fact, if anything, do we go a little bit more that way? Uh, it does need to be raised up as well. It's kind of floating. Maybe I'll do that with the ones, uh, uh... The ones on the roof as well. There we go. Oh shit, I keep falling down the stairwell even though I have a railing on the fucking thing. It's here, like, I need a railing, like, right here. Actually, can I do that? Let's check. Because, man, I fall off that every time. I think it's miscellaneous. And then this one, or this one, this one. Can I, can I please? Thank you. Thank you. Looks kind of unsightly, but man, I keep falling down there. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, I see we can raise this up a little bit more. That's too high, all right. There you go. I just went high enough that it clips into the ceiling, then we'll move it back down one more point. That way we know it's where it should be. Look at that shit. This thing's like way too low. There you go. Try and be real careful here not to accidentally move other shit. And then the last one. Oh, wow. Okay, that one's like already in the right position. Weird. Cool. Again, I need to mess around with these wires so they're out of sight. I will. Don't worry. Don't worry. Not exactly sure how I'm going to handle it, but I'll figure it out. So I'm I'm reasonably happy with that. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this side of the building. We might need more beds, to be honest with you. Uh, we do have the seating area there. We got the seating area down here. This is going to be like you know a disco essentially. Uh, I did want to build a weight room, but we can always build that in the um, over there where we, you know with the kitchen and all that other stuff. This, I mean, it's so much as just an entryway, right? Like. But what do you do with, like, you know, a fucking... A room for people to dance in, other than having a, a disco ball? What do you have? Because we've already got the bar. Like, do we really need anything else? Like, if, does anyone have any ideas? Like... I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't go out that much. I'm not an expert on what you would find in a place where you dance. And also don't dance, because I can't dance. So, does anyone know, like, is there anything else we should put or is that good? Maybe we should even change the floor here. Like these squares or something, so they're like a different pattern or something to indicate like that's the dance floor. I don't know. A hot tub. If I could build a hot tub, I would. I don't think I can. Furniture. 
What would it be? Like miscellaneous? I don't think there's anything like that. I could put down a baby's crib and that would be weird. We could do that. Look at these kitchens, man. See, there's actually stoves we can build without, like, the local leader puck, too. Oh, that's right. There is there is a jukebox. There is a jukebox. How? I can't remember where it is, though. I know there is one. And there's a working jukebox, actually. Like, you can click on it and it plays music. I have no idea where it is, though. There's the porter diner. What the hell was that? Junk mortar. Fires objects dropped inside it when powered. That seems awesome. Launches fireworks shells when powered. Shells can be crafted at a chemistry station. This launches fireworks? Cool. Oh, here you go. Speakers. Plays a musical tone. So that's for, like, actually playing different, like, songs and things. Oh, here's a jukebox. Is this the working version? It looks like it might be. Yeah. Wait, how does it not need power? Well, either way, I'm going to make it, I guess. Uh, I'm going to stick it in this corner, I suppose? I don't know where else to put him. Let's test it. It's actually playing music. Chairs to sit. Well, you wouldn't really want them on the dance floor, would you? We've got these chairs here. We could put more chairs here, I suppose. We could put down more. We've probably got enough for just about like one more, enough room for like one more row of these chairs, like here. Might be decent. Not sure. Either way, I dig it. I like what we got going on here. This area is very barren, though. Like, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this area. I mean, like, it's it's got to be barren, right? If it's a place to dance, like, you need an open space. Like, I get that. I don't know. I don't know. You was thinking, like, a sofa along a wall. Yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. That is something... I've seen movies, all right? I've seen movies. I may not go out, but I have seen movies, and that is a thing. Furniture. Chairs. There's definitely some badass-looking sofas. We should use, like, um... You see if the galaxy sofa is a thing, because there's like a lot of different galaxy looking- I like the galaxy sofas. Though, if you were in like, you know, a place like this, it would probably have more like dark furniture, something along that line- the lines of like that, as opposed to like, some trippy like galaxy shit. It depends though, you know, if it's like a strip joint, it'd probably be brighter furniture, if it was more than, you know, like a... Uh... A, a more classy place, it would have probably darker furniture. Are we classy or are we a strip joint? I don't know the answer to that. Here you go. There's the galaxy couch. Look, it looks like a... I want the galaxy couch. Fight me. We should probably have two that match, though, because we can't have, like, non-matching couches. That's not classy. And again, I don't know if we are classy, but... I kind of dig that. That looks a bit better. We could put, like, a different one there. We could make, maybe, like, uh... No, that's, that's your grandmother's couch. I kind of like that one, even though that one's also sort of your grandmother's couch. Maybe colored spotlights. Can I do that? Is that a thing I could do? We need strippers. We need a strip pole. There are poles that you can make, but they're not like... I don't know if you can make like metal ones. Hang on. Let's have a look. I know there is a poles in the game that are supposed to be like support beams that you can put, you know, under like floating buildings to make them not floating. So I can make like a wooden stripper pole, but that might be a little strange. That's the only stairs. Okay. Walls, floors, free fam. Concrete, warehouse, barn, scaffold, scaffolding maybe? Maybe scaffolding will provide us what we need. Framework. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of like a four, four stripper poles. If there was some way of hiding the other ones, like you could do something like this. You just have this, that looks like a stripper pole kind of, but then it's like, you can see on the outside of the building. We need a stage, wouldn't we really, for a stripper? Good point. We could maybe make a stage. No, where would we put it? Like maybe here? How would we even go about making a stage? Because I think we could effectively, like for example, if you go to um stores, clinic, clothing, food and drink. I'm trying to think if there's like a store that would be appropriate to be on the stage. The slim down foundation. Well, it still has the same problem that it's like multiple poles though, isn't it? We need curtains, yeah. I need a lot of stuff here to be able to pull off a stage. Like, I mean, for example, I could make that. That one just as an example. 
And then I could be like, oh, let's make it smaller. But it's still not a stripper pole, is it? <laughs> it's not. Like, for example, that's like the world's smallest. That's like fucking Vern Troy couldn't strip on that thing. You kidding me? Like, <laughs> he'd run out of room. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I don't think that's going to work, to be honest. Also, I'm going to just get scrap that. Get half my, half my damn steel back. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything that will really function that well as a stripper pole. I don't think Bethesda had that in mind, to be honest. Unless, again, we go with wood. Giggity. Pillars? Metal pillars. They're the wrong way. This would kind of work as a stripper pole, wouldn't it? <gasps> a stripper pole. Look. Look, everyone. It's a stripper pole. Where do we put it? Where would the stripper go? I don't know. Like, fucking here or something? Okay, let's put the pole down for now. So we want it on the stage. Now we need to try and figure out, like, is anyone got any ideas what I could use for a stage? It just, it just needs to be, like, a raised area. It doesn't need to look fancy. I guess I could use, like, concrete or something. Structures. Let me see. Hang on. Hang on. Concrete. Make, like, a massive bridge. Where is this bridge? Oh, it's outside. Look at that. Hang on. Look at the size of that fucking thing. Yeah. We could do that. Oh, just realized we need like steps and uh, a proper door there. It's for Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Concrete roof, stairs, miscellaneous. Huh, interesting. Pizza, you need pizza. Ah, oh, I mean, in real life, maybe. See, we could do something like this. Like, we'd have to raise it up, and then we could just raise the area. Hmm. This would be difficult to do, though. Yeah, something like that. Like, it's not raised that much, but I could raise it up a little more. I think, like, what looks appropriate for, like, a, a, a stage floor. Good question. Eh, we'll try that one. Eh, maybe not so much. <laughs> I don't know. You can't want something like kind of plain, I guess. I don't know, man. Well, for now, hang on. Which one am I using? This one, I think. Yes. So let's let's test this as a theory. And if I raise it up. We're testing. We're testing. Everyone needs pizza. True. Very true. Is that the same height? I think so. And you obviously need to like go like that. I know it's not attached to this, the roof. We can fix that. Clown that stands in the corner. If I could hire a clown, I would. This would probably have to be in the middle of the stage, wouldn't it? And honestly, the window would probably not be behind it. Otherwise, you know, people are getting a free viewing without paying, man. Though then again, there's windows there. Yeah, generally, if it's like a club or whatever, it wouldn't have windows. Still, I kind of like that. Uh, where did we find... Does anyone remember where we found the, the metal pole? Was it here? No, here? No? Oh, it was simply modular housing. Yeah, I think it was here, wasn't it? Pillars, yeah, here we go. Metal pillars... That one. So if I can like bonk that on top. That's too long in the way, isn't it? Uh actually, yeah, you know what? It is too long, but what I can do I can try and do like that. I don't want to clip through the roof, obviously. A fog machine would be awesome. Again, if I could make a fog machine, I would. Alright, does that clip through the roof? Let's check. I know it's not like perfectly in line, but where the hell was it? Uh, I don't see it. I think we good. Cuz. There you go, that's, that's our stripper fall. Like, we did our best, alright? <laughs> alright, hang on. I need to line this up. This shouldn't be that hard, actually. Oh shit, I removed the wrong one. Oh, now that one's moving, you fuckers. Move the 
taller one. As about as in line as that's gonna go. I don't think that's too bad. The jukebox might be in the wrong place, I don't know. And yeah, I might want to move this window. Hello, Gwyn. Yeah, we'll move this window. This doesn't seem right here anymore. Can I fit through there? I can, wow. That might get in the way of me building that wall. I may have to temporarily move that, we'll see. Structures wood. Structures walls. That's the one. Does it snap on? Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Alright, I've got a solution question mark to this. Move it this way for now. No! Son of a bitch. Needs to be one higher. Right. So my solution is to temporarily move this that way. Just enough. To be honest, you may want it that way. Hang on. We, we probably want it like just far enough forward so it's not clipping through the wall. There we go. Stripper ball, indeed. Let's right, so move that back that way. Yeah, okay, and then grab... Let's save before I fuck this up. See, like, you can kind of tell what we're going for here. Like, I wouldn't look at this and be like, what the fuck's this guy built? Like, I'd look at this and be like, that's a stripper ball. So, you know, job done, I'd say. Alright, so those two are in line. Now this place is not completely barren. Uh, in that case, if we're gonna have this be part of the dance floor as well, which I suppose we are, we don't need this anymore. And then we'll just move the, the disco ball further this way. Like that. It doesn't really shine on the stripper pole anymore, though, does it? Though, I guess it shines enough, I suppose. The stripper doesn't necessarily need the disco ball. Let's move that there. It's a bit more centralized. I See, I don't want it, like, blending over into this area here. This is supposed to be separate. This is for the more classy individuals, you know? Your kids and families are eating here. They're not interested in the stripping. I'm trying to decide where exactly I want this ball. Honestly, it's not too bad, like, where it is. Maybe, like, more there. That's decent. I'm, I'm okay with that. That's decent. You can see what we're going for. You can see what we are going for. I'm trying to decide if I want the jukebox, like, in the corner like that, or more flat against the wall. We could also put, you know, posters and things like that in here to, uh, to make it look less barren. But yeah, for the most part, like, that, that looks a lot better now, I think. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, if you're sitting here, you'd have to turn your head all the way to the left. You'd get a crooked neck looking at the stripper. This is not in line, this pole. I want to, like, line up perfectly, you motherfucker. I think it looks better than it did. Maybe. It's like slightly wonky. Yeah, it's like slightly wonky from certain angles. How can I fix you? Can I rotate the pole, maybe? Hang on. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I've ruined it all. I've ruined it all. Oh god. Oh, never mind. I fixed it. I fixed it. It's good. It's good. It's all good. We're gonna not click that again, because I'll break it. Yeah, again, you can, you can, you know, if you walked in here, you're like, la la la, I mean, I need steps. You're like, ah, oh, god. You're like, la la la, oh look, there's a jukebox, there's there's chairs, couches, whatever. And that couch is not quite, uh, oh, you know, it's fine, actually. Take a bag, it's fine. Actually, I think those couches are very slightly wonky, but I'll fix them later. You walk in here, you see the jukebox, the disco ball, the fucking pole and that. You know what you're looking at. So, problem, problem solved. See, now, with this here... Might be a little too close to put more benches in here. I don't know. I, I kind of dig this. I kind of dig this. I think this is decent. Uh, so, I do want another window, possibly. Oh, no, I don't know, actually. I think maybe she... No, nah, you know what? No. I think I think the bottom is fine. So, we need to fix this situation here. So, first of all, let's put on a door. Doors. Probably the same door as the other place, which I think was this one. The other place. You know what I mean. The other doorway. Can I rotate that so the uh, the handle's on the other side? I can. Yeah, that's like the right-handed door handle, isn't it? And most people are right-handed. I'm left-handed, so we're just gonna... 
Let's set it up properly. Yeah, that's that's the right-handed door handle. I think so, anyway. Need some benches around the stripper pole stage. Yeah, probably do. I'm going to do this first, though, real quick. Uh, so we need some basic steps. Uh, so how do I do that? Structures, doors, fences, elevators, ball track, blah, 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 blah. Fences, doors, box car, scaffolding, barn, warehouse, concrete, metal, wood, wood walls, roof, stairs. This is probably fine. Actually. Lining these up, probably not going to be terribly easy. F2? Yeah, F2. There we go. If I get this one in place, I think the rest will snap. I could be wrong. That is like way wonky. Holy shit. And that is why we check these things. That looks good. Alright. Let's press F2 again. Will this snap? Snap underneath it, you piece of crap. You know what? I can fix that on my own. That's fine. Again, way wonky. So let's pull it towards us. That's pushing. Pull it towards us. Raise it up a little bit. No, don't rotate it like that, you piece of crap. I like that. This needs to be further this way. Alright, and then raise it up. Doesn't look terrible. Is it functional? It's still kind of floating there. That's bugging me. And then if I raise this up much more, it's going to be like floating off the ground. Yeah, you see the problem I'm having here. Alright, it, is it at least functional? It works. I may fine tune that later, but for now that at least works. Alright, uh, you still don't want benches. Yeah, we should probably put... Well, again, we need space for people to like dance. I mean, that's the kind of the, the whole point here. Yeah, I don't know, because like if I put any here, then there's like no damn room for them to move around. Put another one in. Another. Oh, you mean? Well, I guess I could sink one to the ground, can I? Hello, uh, dogbot. Did the game crash? No. Wait, what? Oh, son of a bitch! I pressed the wrong button. I pressed reload instead. Ah, whatever. Put them close to the stage. Well, yeah. That's the plan. Oh, well, I've got to redo the steps because I'm a moron. Hang on. Structures, wood. Door. Let's put the door in real quick. It was easy enough to find. There's the door. Put it that way. Okay. Then it was... What the shit was it under? Oh, it was on stairs, wasn't it? Wood stairs? Yeah, stairs. Oh, hang on. Shack steps... Oh, I don't think I was even using the clean steps. Well, that solves that problem, I guess. All right, F2. Yay. Wow, that's so wonky. Holy crap. On their longer stairs, you can just merge into the ground. Yeah, that's true. I do kind of like these ones, though. Can't really use these ones, but they do need a bit more fiddling with. The other ones would be really easy. You're not wrong, though. Yay. Look good to me. Uh, it might be like a pixel off that way. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah, we should probably just sink some more into the ground after we've lined these ones up. That's actually fairly in line. Again, probably like... A little bit more like that. And then, like, a couple of pixels that way. Yeah. Alright. Is it floating at all? I think so, still a tiny bit. Looks good? Alright. And then we'll sink some more down here. Which should be fairly easy to do. Except when it's... Why is it snapping like that? Did I not press F2? I thought I did. F2? Oh no, okay. Don't know why it's snapping like that. Oh my god, stop snapping. You're gonna ruin everything. Okay, we'll have to move it with the... Uh... That's close, to be honest. That's almost what we want. Yeah, so let's move it. Oh my god, stop. Let me highlight it. Okay. And we want it kind of like 
Oh shit, kind of like that. And then let's make sure it's in line. Seems mostly fine, except not completely. Yes. No, not at all. Not at all. There. That's better. All right, and then I just need to raise it up a tiny bit. A little bit more. I mean, they're buried in the ground, but at least they're not floating, so yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I need to actually press save now instead of the reload button. There we go. Stream crash, that sucks. Boop. Alright, we'll try to put the benches down in front of the stage, but I don't know. It, it's gonna look, uh, it's gonna look cramped, I feel. But we'll see what it looks like. Uh, chairs. Alright, do we have a non shitty looking bench? I'm sure we probably do. Holy crap, there is a lot of chairs. Oh, hello, Noshi. You went to a giveaway for Pokemon. You're still waiting for the Pokemon you asked for from the previous three hours. You mean like on a guy's stream or something? On there, longer stairs. Oh, I already read that. Uh, was it going to shiny Steelix? You already have the Mega Stone. Oh, cool. I think I bred a shiny Onyx a few times. It was really easy to breed shinies on, um... Was it Diamond and Pearl I think I was doing it on? I think so. Yeah, I actually have, I have a fuckload of, like, shinies, like, EV trained and all that shit that I've bred up on Diamond and Pearl, but I haven't done that stuff in for, like, years. But I used to be, like, a, a shiny breeder. Back in the day. These are probably the best looking benches for what we're looking for here. Or do we want the- nah, that's like a- that's like a park bench. Yeah, yeah, I think this is sort of what we're going for. I don't know, do we want a bag on it? You want a shiny Vulpix if you have one. Uh, I probably do, to be honest. In fact, I know I do. I actually traded for a shiny Nine Towers, but it was- It was like not a good nature and not like properly trained and blah blah blah. So, I never use it. I'm gonna go with these. Let's press F2. There we go. Wait a minute. Why are you not in line? What the shit? There we go. Why was that not in line? God, I noticed that. That was really bugging me. I mean, you want it close enough, right, Liz, so that she can uh, jiggle in your face, and then you you touch, and then you get kicked out because no touch. Get them brusty bro. Is this fucking Dizzy Rascal? Get the shit out of here! It sounds like Dizzy Rascal. I fucking hate Dizzy Rascal's music. Skip, 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 skip. Get out of here, Dizzy Rascal. You're terrible. All right, line these bad boys up. Remember, no touchy, otherwise you get kicked out. We need, like, a, a bodyguard or something to stand at the stage, but again, we need perks to be able to assign people to jobs like that. But you can, you can actually assign, assign people as guards. So we can have, like, a pimp. Well, not a pimp. That's different. We can have, like, a bouncer standing at the door. I don't know why I said pimp. I have no idea. Like, genuinely no idea. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure they're all lined up, which they are not, as you can see. I think that one's lined up. This one's close. That looks decent to me. There you go. There you go. Alright. I'm reasonably happy with this. So we've finished, for the most part, our bar and eating area. For the most part, again. We've, for the most part, finished the, uh, the stripper area. And, you know, slash dance floor. See, now... This light that I removed, it now is... See, it's, it's on. So they do light up. Don't know why the ones up top still are not lighting up. That's weird. Again, I need to move these uh, wires around, things like that. This area, I'm still not 100% certain what I'm going to do with this open sort of area here. I might just line it with beds. I'm not sure. Because we are going to need more beds because we're going to get a shitload of people here. Uh, again, I have to move these around. And I will do that off screen because it's just going to be kind of boring to watch. But yeah. Yeah, I like this. I think it's pretty good. 
It was pretty good. And we uh we finished up our we fi well for now we finished up our our armor storage area over here. What the hell is that? I thought it was rubble. I guess it kind of looks like rubble, but it's not. It's not like the type I can clean up. Look at that. That's pretty good. We made some progress today. Looks good. I know. Thanks. <laughs> Although I was like, I know. Uh, yeah. I am reasonably happy with this. Again, I'm going to tear down this whole building. So you know what? Let's tear it down now. Let's tear it down now so it's prepared for next time. Oh, the generator is not hidden in the roof. I need to fix that. Uh, that should be easy enough to do. This was to scrap these barrels. We don't need these. We do not need these. So, let's put away the stuff in here in case it gets destroyed. I don't think it will. We'll just store it for now so we can rebuild it afterwards. Same with the lights. Uh, we can only scrap the radios. So we'll scrap them. I didn't build too much in here anyway. I think I can make suitcases, so may as well just scrap that one. That one will store. I said store. Store you as well. Okay. And this, which we I want to use that actually. I want to change our character's hair because it just wouldn't let me do it at the start of the game. I don't think it did. Right, that's all barren. And then delete in the words of Matt Hardy. Delete that as well. Delete the roof. And delete the crappy bit of roof. Cool. So we are going to rebuild this. And we're also going to rebuild our house over there as well. And just because, you know, I feel like role-playing our guy being... I'm going to get rid of this mesh door. I don't like this mesh door. I feel like role-playing our guy being insane. I'm actually going to completely remake uh, Sean's room as perfect as I can to the way it looked before, you know, the nuke. Because our guy is nuts and he thinks he's going to get his baby back. Basically, that's where I'm gonna go with that and then the rest of this uh, I'm not sure what we'll do with his house Exactly, uh, but this is gonna be turned into you know, there'll be like a weight room and a kitchen and that type of thing uh, Whereas that's you know, like the communal area and where people sleep and again, I do intend to make this less blocky But right now it is a block so hold on TCL let's go hide the generator The first shiny was Reshiram my first shiny was uh alexam i uh, no, abra rather it was abra can i i can make this smaller can't i just realized that's that's a bloody good idea we just shriek the fucking hang on god damn it hang on i need to get out of tc otherwise it won't be the one let me move it my first shiny was an abra uh which i just ran completely randomly in the wild and luckily, I, I knew it was shiny because it shined, and I knew it had teleport, so it would just teleport away if I fucked up, so I just threw an Ultra Ball, luckily caught it first time. Then I cloned the living shit out of it, and then I went on a website, which I think was Cerebi.net, with an S. Not Celebi, Cerebi. Uh, I went on that, and then I went on their chat room, and I ended up trading these dupes of my shiny Abra for, like, better shinies and, you know, proper EV trained Pokemon and stuff like that. And that's how I built my empire, because, like, I have a fuckload of like rare event pokemon like you know i've got uh pichu colored pikachu i've got like two or three of those you know like all types of different event mews mewtwo's like dark rise etc etc arceus i got, like all that shit uh surfing pikachu flying pikachu etc etc uh and i built that all up from cloning all those abras or that abra repeatedly and then trading them all away for different things and you know i, I did a bit of um I said a bit, I did a fair bit of like hatching shinies and chaining for shinies myself. Like I have a shiny Gengar that I caught as a, a ghastly, which has like the modest uh, nature and everything because I used like dittos to synchronize the nature of the ditto to the blah blah, like all that shit. Anyway, let's shrink this down. Beautiful. And then we should be able to hide it easier. Alright, that should be hidden, I think. Let's not fall to our death. Yep. Again, that one doesn't bother me. This one does, as does this one. We'll do something about that. I may have to do like another generator somewhere else and hide it somewhere else. Or maybe just make a really teeny tiny, teeny tiny generator. And like so small that I can hide it literally in the floorboards. We can maybe do something like that. That might be what I do. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that stuff off screen because that's not going to be the least bit interesting to watch. Yeah, I don't know why these are not light up when that one's lit up. So you can see they obviously do light up. Oh, hey, Preston, how's it going? 
You can come check out my stripper pole. Unfortunately, we don't have an employee yet. Uh, when we get more perks, we'll get employees. Don't know if we can employ a stripper, to be honest. We'll just have to imagine. Or I might just have, like, a female guard stand on stage. Or a male guard, because, you know, there are male strippers. I don't think they generally use the pole. So, look, he's using it. He's unassigned. Come on. All right. You need to do something. There's no reason for you to not be assigned. Uh, tend to the gardens, my man. Tend to the gardens. All right, good enough. Anything to loot here? Nope. Apparently the trash can is still here. Like, everything else I've built, the trash can is still there. We should get rid of the floor as well in here. Let's do that right now. Okay. Store. Scrap the foundation. Don't need that either. Oh, there's a screwdriver. That's the garage. I'm probably going to scrap that, but I want to move this stuff first, so I'm not going to do it right now. And yeah, I put the... The Arkham... The Arkham Batman gear. In fact, it's not Arkham, is it? That's uh, Batman Beyond. I put the Batman Beyond gear on the on the mannequins. And again, I do want to build a whole big, massive display room. You know, a la what you would find in something like the Levelless Tower. Uh, from, uh, what the shit's it called? Skyrim. Something like that. Like a big display room, you know, weapon racks on the walls and what have you for the weapons I'm not going to use. That look cool or are unique and what have you. One of the dances in Fallout New Vegas, probably. They're probably stripper mods. Yeah. I don't know if we need to go whole hog to... What the shit's going on with this? I don't know if we need to go whole hog to, uh... Yeah, stripper mod. Right, so anyway, um... One, one, one last thing I do want to do is the street lights. So I'm going to do that right now. That might be the last thing we do this stream. So hang on. I want to put them roughly where the other street lights were, and we can fill in the blanks later. Like, if we need more. We put that one down, because that one works. Scrap this bastard. And then put it where the bastard was. Start your bastard. Okay, they're all there. Good, good, good. See, these street lights by default are really spread out. Like, there's... Look at them. I mean, a light is light, I suppose. Almost kind of in the bush. Probably move that a little bit. Scrap. Yeah, you know what? There's fine, I think. Thank God these cables go so far. It's weird. I knew these cables could connect, but for some reason it didn't occur to me... Like, you connect pretty much anything via these wires, which is cool. We might want to scrap, like, these box, like, mailboxes and everything, because, you know, it's the post-apocalypse. Ain't nobody getting mail anymore, you know? So I don't know that they serve any purpose, so we may as well just destroy them. Because whilst I do want to sort of treat this as, like, I'm rebuilding society, at the same time, society still doesn't have postmen. So, you know, and postwomen. to not be sexist. So I really don't know that it's all that necessary. Yeah. Man, this thing's powering a lot of shit, good lord. There's one over there right up our boot boy's ass. 20 caps a minute. <laughs> well, for the stripper. Ever seen the postman, Jason? I've seen it in Zelda, I haven't seen it in this game. Is there a postman in this game? I guess they have couriers, but it's different. They don't, like, use the post boxes. You know what I mean? Like, it's like an old world thing, basically, is what I'm getting at. Like, these post boxes, they just... They're not used anymore. So, they seem kind of impractical. Again, I'm trying to treat this like I'm rebuilding society. Because, essentially, we are. But things that have no practical use seem kind of pointless to me. We're going to need another lamp here, so this one doesn't dangle so much in the middle. So, let's do that. Let's put one, like... Put one... Let's put one... I don't know. One like here. And store this wire. If it lets me click on it. Why isn't it letting me click on the wire? There you go. Store the wire. And connect you... To you. And then connect you... To... This. That is acceptable for now. We still need more lights on this side of the street. Let's put another one here. Too bad. I mean, his cable's going friggin' everywhere, but it's kind of to be expected. Let's store this wire. That one's too dangly. I don't like it. Then we'll put another one here. And connect these two. Connect these. 
It's a little dangling. A little dangling. It's not too, too bad. Uh, that one... Yeah, we need another one, like, here. Get rid of the post box. Again, it doesn't seem to serve a purpose to me anymore. There's no freaking postman. If they are, they're doing it on foot and they're not using the post box. I don't know. You are not lit, fam. Why aren't you lit? Are we just running out of power now? I guess so. Kinda wouldn't surprise me. This thing's like kinda too close. Make sure it's on the grass. Hello, Raven! Alright. Make these. Are we gonna need another generator by looks things. Uh, or we can at least connect it to... Yeah, I think. Oh, no, never mind. They all just lit up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's put a couple more down on the side of the road. One like here. Again, these, these do not need to be pixel perfect. They really don't. The hell out of here. No one there. Hello. That was not lit. It might light up when I connect them more, I guess. That tree's probably fine. I am relatively happy with this. What about if I connect that to that? There you go. I'm relatively happy with that. I'm not too concerned about lighting that section at the moment, because we're not really working on that section. We're kind of working on this section of Sanctuary, because Sanctuary's fucking massive. Uh, I do want to move this. For example, Mama Murphy's chair. It's not getting that much use on the roof. I'm gonna put it in the, uh, as much as this pains me to do it. I'm gonna put it in the communal area. Pretty sure the NCR has postal service. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Actually, we could put her on stage. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, um, let's just chuck her in this corner for now. Bitch can go sit on her own. Miserable cow, there you go. I like this balcony is just low enough that I can drop without taking full damage. Yeah, this whole building needs to be redone. Go sit in your chair, bitch. What are you good for? Are right, these... I don't know. This is going to be like where we punish people. I don't know where to put them for now, so I'm just going to plonk it here. But that's temporary. Oop. Yeah, that's, it, it's not going to stay there. I want it in line with the building, though. It will bug my OCD if it's not. Just because it's, it's got to have, like, some kind of rhyme or reason to its placement. And that works in my brain. Good enough. And then we'll sink it down. That's pretty fine. Alright. We've got the street lights up, at least for this area. I may mess around with the cables a bit more on the street lights to make them a bit less, you know, messy. Basically. Because I ideally that one oh you are not lit okay so we need we do need a generator here and we do have the beacon over here with the generator so to be honest the, the this little generator might be enough if it is cool if not we will put a bigger one whoa that was weird what about if I connect from can I connect from this oh, I can't okay does this work I think the vault boy is in the way Right, come here. There you go. Uh, it hasn't lit all of them. Okay. Yeah, so we might need to connect it. Alright, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You, hang on. F2. Oh, F2. You go there for now. You don't have a correct... Wait, a connection in your 3DS right now and you don't need a password. That sucks. Wait, Jason got fired. Or did I? You need a private stripper lounge for those private lap dances. Yeah, I should make a private lounge. Uh, so, how are we gonna... Hmm... I guess we just make a little, little generator here for now as a temporary. There you go. Temporary. I mean, we could always hide that underground as well. But you know what? Let's just do that. Because we can. So why the fuck not, right? Nobody needs to know this generator exists. Uh, the easiest way to do it would probably be the TCL. 
and then you use F2. Uh, how's that look? The wire, I don't know. I want the wire slightly further to the side. Ugh, see, I hate this. You can only move things with TCL once, and then you have to come back out of TCL, go back into TCL, and then you can remove the, the object. Really annoying. It's pretty fine. There you go. There you go. Tis hidden. Tis hidden, everyone. TCL. All right. Street lights are all on. Again, I'm most likely going to... You know what? Yeah, that wire is bugging me, like a lot. This one, which one is it? This one here. I don't like this one. Store that. Doesn't even actually need to be connected like that at all. So instead, let's go to power. Oh, motherfucker, power lights. Street lamps. Yep. F2, okay. We get one more down over the side. Maybe around by where this post box is. And then, oh, motherfucker. And connect that. How much copper do we have now? Let's have a look. 96, not bad. We uh, we had like friggin' zero last stream. Well, before that, last time we were building. And we'll put one more here as well. Just for symmetry sake. You wanna hear a joke? Sure. Hit me. With that. Got some exterior lighting up in the form of street lights. This place this place is actually coming together now. Yeah, ideally I don't want any of the wires to be crossing the street because they don't need to. Just double check to make sure uh, here we go, look. Unnecessary. I don't think this needs to be here. Nope. It might need to cross like right at the very end here. Yeah. That's like the only place they'd need to do that. I like that. I like that. I like it. And yeah, we'll, we'll rebuild this house. Actually, I need to remove this door as well. Didn't he say Gengar before? Uh, what are we talking about with Gengar? I feel like I've asked this before, but I forgot what's your favorite Pokemon. Yeah, Gengar. Gengar is my favorite. Uh, there's a lot. I really, I really like Metagross as well. Metagross is cool. I really was a huge fan of uh, Chansey before they brought out like gold and silver. Because I used to kick ass with Chansey using like Toxic and Softball, like, you know, cheap tactics. <laughs> I just like the way Chansey looks like a big fucking egg. I don't know. Uh, try to think. I think like what legendaries are like. I like Celebi's kind of cool. I don't know why. It reminds me of Celery, like the way it's colored and its name. I don't know, I'm weird like that. I like Umbreon. Umbreon looks very cool. Uh, yeah, Gengar's my favorite though, definitely. There's a lot of them I like though. I like Charizard. Charizard's cool. Blastoise, you know. A lot, a lot of the classics. Snorlax is your favorite. I like Snorlax. He's definitely not my favorite, though. My favorite Blissey. Not as much. I, I prefer the look of Chansey. I think Chansey looks cooler than Blissey. Blissey's just like... They went a little too girly with it and a little too like... Oh, it's pink. I don't know. I just... I like the, the more egg-like look of... Of, uh... Chansey. I don't know why. I'm weird. Alright. Oh, wait. Why are you not lit? What the fuck? Why are these two not lit? Why are you? What the shit? Temporary solution to that. We make another generator and then we fucking hide it in the ground. Or we would, honestly, we wouldn't even necessarily need to hide these things in the ground. For example, let's move it here so it's less confusing. We could, uh... Oh, I hit caps lock, son of a bitch. There we go. Uh, we could just make it really small, like... You know, there's less of an eyesore. It'd be a real pain in the ass to connect anything to it if we need to do it. But look, look at that little bit of generator. It's fucking adorable. See, like, clicking on it, it's not going to be easy now. But, uh, yeah. Where did I put the other generator in the ground? I actually don't even remember. Oh, here we go. It's where this wire is. Let's just make this one itty bitty as well. Then I'm less likely to forget it exists if it's, you know, not under the ground. Eh, eh. And then we plonk you down there. Actually, hang on. Let's put it up in the up in the sky so we can we can interact with it easier. And shrink this fucker down. Don't stare at me, lady. You're freaking me out. Itty bitty. I think they're the same size. 
Where even is the other one? I actually don't know. I think it's here? Yeah, it's like in this bush. I think they're about the same size. It's good to me, man. It's good to me. All right, double check. All the lights are on. I believe so. Look, you can actually see it's lit from down here. Cool. All right, so that is going to do it for today's stream. I feel like we made some good progress here with the building. I'm happy with this. Again, I really do want to build a big, like, display area, and I want to rebuild that house and rebuild our house and rebuild, like, Sean's room exactly the way it looked because our guy's fucking crazy. Uh, but for now, that is going to do it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you most likely tomorrow. Don't know what we're going to do then. Maybe maybe more Skyrim than Fallout, like we did today? Probably. I don't know. Anyway, good night, everybody, and goodbye. Alrighty, thank you everybody for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I would like to give a very special shout out right now to this month's ten dollar plus tier patrons. So they are as follows: Nuria Age, Don Lobo, I'll Be Jiggered, Joey, Billy Nying, Doctor Papa Penguin, Bad Beauty, Bebop Five Six Two One Zero, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And if you would like to become a patron and support the channel, you can do so over at patreon.com slash LP. In the $5 plus tier, you'll get your name listed on the screen, including if you are a Twitch subscriber this month. In the $10 plus tier, you'll get your name shoutouts. And if you are in the $1 plus tier, you will have my personal thanks every single month. I really do appreciate it. And you get access to my Discord. Thank you, everybody. I really could not do this without you. You guys are awesome. I love you. Good night, everybody. And goodbye.